teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Loneliness is not the same as being alone. You could be surrounded with all the friends and family, all the acquaintances in the world, and still be the loneliest soul in existence. There are three basic causes for feeling of loneliness and alienation. Number one, separation from God. Two, separation from others. And three, from ourselves. Let's examine each of these causes and consider ways to, to ease the pain of loneliness. First one, separation from God. God created us to live in fellowship with Him, but sin broke that fellowship. As human beings, we are born with the capacity to know God, but we are also born without the knowledge of God and without the relationship with Him. Even those of us who have trusted Him and have been given new life experience times when we really alienated from our Heavenly Father. Fortunately, we're always the ones who have moved away. Sin breaks our fellowship with God. That's why He has provided a way for us to be continually cleansed and forgiven when we confess our sins to Him. He doesn't want us to be lonely for Him. We may be lonely for people, for friends, for, for a mate, but if we have trusted the Lord Jesus Christ, we never have to be lonely for God again. We have His constant assurance that He is always with us and in us. St. Augustine rightly said, Our hearts are restless, O God, until they find their rest in Thee. In order to grow closer to Him, we need to cultivate our fellowship with God. There are some practical ways we can do that. First of all, quiet time. Take just 15 minutes at the start of your day to read some scripture and pray. Memorize the scripture. During the day, when you have to wait in a doctor's office or even at a traffic light, work on memorizing a verse. Practice the presence of God. Send up an arrow of prayers all day. Keep the spiritual phone lines open. You will be more sensitive to sin. You will be more obedient to to God's Word, and you'll find that your close fellowship with your Heavenly Father will ease the loneliness, which is the worst of all that sense our separation from God. The other point is separation from people. God also created us to have relationship with other people. When He first created Adam, He said, It is not good for a man to be alone. There are times for various reasons when close friendships are disturbed. Occasionally, we even feel a distance from those who love the most. It's very lonely to know a lot of people who are just acquaintances. We all put on happy faces when we meet. But how do we establish the kind of friendship in which we can be ourselves? How do we connect a meaningful level? There are some steps we can take. Reach out to others. Instead of waiting for the phone to ring, take the initiative. Many times the friend you want to know better is waiting for someone to call them. Share a common interest or service. Another way to make a friend is within church groups, youth meetings. Accept others as they are. Share your thoughts as your confidence grows. Friendships deepen when we realize we can trust another person. Once trust is established, we are able to open our hearts to each other, drop our masks and be real. Sometimes our feelings of loneliness indicate a sense of alienation from ourselves. When we are completely honest, we'll admit there are things in our personalities we don't like. There are times when everything seems to be going wrong and we are frustrated and discouraged. When we dwell in our failures and shortcomings, we generate our own loneliness, and this usually leads to more problems. There are some positive efforts we can make to change our sense of self-alienation. The first is, respond to God's love. 
choose to believe that God loves you and receive his love. You are his unique creation. He will give your life significance. Another point is act with your will. God gave you a will so you can make choices and he intends for you to act with your will. My Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us through your example to love one another. Help me, Lord, to love my neighbor as myself and to love you always so that I am never to be lonely. Thank you.